This unit, basic commis, helps you to understand the development of commis basic block with sleeve through a combination of video demonstrations and textual content. The final review session invites you to reflect on what you have learnt. By the end of this unit, students will be able to draw a draft for a commerce, develop the basic and production pattern with all the information, analyze the test fit problems. Salwar kameez, popularly known as Punjabi suit, is the traditional dress of women in the Punjabi region of northwestern India and eastern Pakistan. The outfit comprises of a pair of trousers, salwar, and a dress or a tunic with a tupata, a popular form of attire among Indian women throughout India as well as in Singapore. The salwar trouser are tailored to be long and loose fitting with a narrow hem above the ankle for both men and women with long tunic as a loose fitting. Knee length with a long sleeve known as kameez or short length tunic with a long sleeve known as the kurta. From the 1980s, the salwar kameez was even adapted as a uniform for girls as they are comfortable, affordable and flattering to the figure. They are designed to suit different need and are used as a occasional wear, casual wear, formal wear, ethnic wear, party wear, work wear and a corporate wear. The modern version of the kameez are usually sleeveless and tend to be more tight fitting than the traditional outfit. The kameez is also paired with western style jeans, skirts and pants. Basic kameez block and the sleeve block of plaid pattern is used for develop from size 8 for the close fit to fit the contouring of the body. Variations in fit and style can be developed based on the basic kameez block. This lesson we are going to learn the kameez draft. So we must draw the basic line of vertical and horizontal and mark 0. From 0, the total length 40 inches, mark and then the number is 1. 0, 1 is the total length of the kameez. Then 0, 2 is upper body full length. That is 17, 2 by 2.5. And mark 2. 0 to is upper body length. Then 2 to 3 is equal to center back length. Center back length is 16.5. Mark 16.5. This is 3. So this is the difference between the center back length and the full length, high, high shoulder point length and draw the basic lines. Two, 
3 is the center back length or the natural waist length. We can find the difference of the natural waist length and the total length. Then 2, 4 is equal to hip depth. Hip depth is 8 inches. Mark 8 inches down from 2 is 4. Zero 05 is bust by 4 minus half an inch. 8.65 is bust by 4 minus half an inch is 8.25 and draw the horizontal lines. Zero 06 is off shoulder, 14.5 by 2 is 7 and a quarter and 6 is square down to 7. Zero 08 is neck width that is bus by 12 minus quarter inch. So, it will be two and a half an inch 8 and nine, 2 to 9, 2 to 9 is shoulder slope plus one eighth of an inch. Shoulder slope is 17 inches for back. We should follow the back shoulder slope plus one eighth of an inch is 17 1 by 8 inches. And draw the shoulder from 9, 9 and 8. Five to ten is equal to bus by four plus half an inch. Eight six eight point six five plus half nine point two five and mark ten. And on the waistline. 2 to 11 is equal to waist by 4 plus 1, 1 and 3 fourth. So, waist by 4 is equal to 6, 7 by 8 plus 1, 3 by 4 is 8. 8, 5 by 8 and mark 11. Then 4 to 12 is hip round by 4, 1 fourth of hip plus half an inch. The hip is 36 inches divided by, by 4 is 9 plus half, 9 and a half. and mark 12 and this is to find the side seam line. Now 
bottom line will be marked as 13. Now 14 is mid of 9 to 7. 9 to 7 is 6 and a half, mid is 3 and quarter. Mark 14 and square out the line to 15. And mark 15. Now, 15 to 16 is across back. Across back 6. Six three by four is across back. And mark sixteen. Now draw the armhole from nine, sixteen, and ten, and draw the back neck shape from 3 and 8. Now we are going to draw the neck curve and the armhole curve. Neck curve we should place the French curve like this. That is it has to be flat for at least 1 inch and it has to reach the point 8. This is the back neck and uh, while drawing the armhole the armhole tail should the French curve tail should be up and the head should be down and place it in position by meeting 9, 16 and 10 and draw the armhole from 9, 16 and 10. Now we are going to draw the dot for the back. Seventeen is mid of five to seven. Seven and a quarter mid is three five by eight is seventeen and square down seventeen. towards down the 17 is square down to 18 19 18 to 19 can be 3 and a half to 3, 3 by 4 inches. Mark 19. And the dot intake should be 1 and a half an inch. Mark both the sides 3 fourth of an inch and 3 fourth of an inch. And mark 20, 21. The, the dot should start 1 inch below from 17 and draw the dot one inch down from 17, 20 and 19 then join 21 and 19. And then blend the dots. Now we we'll finish drawing the dot. Then 
draw the side shape by joining 10 and 11 now we need to use the hip curve in an outward shape this side it should be an inward curve and this side it should be outward curve and then external line by matching with the hip line towards down it will give a narrow fit straight fit and this line is the center back line and draw the grain line parallel to the center back this gives your actual fit for the body it's a block in excluding the seam elements now we need to connect the bottom shape by matching the hip shape and external line from 12 to down and mark 13 now we are going to join the side seam from 10 11 12 and 13 by matching the hip line to some extent and extend the line from here to there as a straight line to give a straight fit Now the draft for the front. First start with the basic line and mark 0, 0 to 1 is the total front length. This measurement may vary for the front and back. Front length and back length may be similar or it may have the variation of 1 or 2 inches or 0.5 inches also. As the same, the torso length at the front and the back will also have difference. If you wanted to take a perfect fit, then this measurements are very important while you are taking the measurement you should be very careful when we analyze the measurement which has been equal or something it has to be followed as the same now from zero we should mark the full length of the front upper torso that is 17.5 the full length of the upper torso is 17.5 mark 2 and 0 to 3 is the mark for the bust line you can take the bust height from high point shoulder to the bust point and mark here the measurement 10.5 that is 3. The measurement has to be taken from the high point shoulder to the bust point. That measurement can be marked from 0 to 3 is bust height. And 0 to 4 is, sorry, 2 to 4 is hip depth. Hip depth is 8 inch and mark 4. Now the chest line. 0 to 5 is as the same as the back bust by 4 minus half an inch so 
seven point eight point six five is is one fourth of bust. Then seven eight point two five maybe is the mark and mark five and draw the horizontal lines. as a basic line, chest line, bust line, waist line, and hip line. These are the basic lines to be drawn. 0 to 6 is off shoulder. Shoulder 14.5, off is 7.25. The 6 is square down to 7. 0, 8. Bus by 12 minus quarter inch is 2.5 and 0 0.9 bus by 12 plus quarter inch 3 inches. This width and depth will provide the exact neck shape. Now 2 to 10 is equal to front shoulder slope plus 1 by 8 inches. Front shoulder slope is 17.5 plus 1 eighth is 17 5 by 8. This is 10 join 8 and 10 as shoulder. Then draw the front neck from 8 to 9 by keeping the tail up and it should have a quarter inch as straight at the neckline, at the center front neckline. Now five to eleven. 8.65 plus 3 fourth of an inch is 9.5 mark 11 and 2 to 12 is 1 fourth of the waist plus 1 3 by 4 inch waist is 27.5 so 6 7.5 by 8 plus 1 3 by 4 mark 12 And 4 to 13 is 1 fourth of hip plus half an inch. Hip is 36, 1 fourth is 9 plus half, mark 13. And 14 is to be straightened from 13. 7 to 15 is one third of seven, 10 to 7 plus half an inch. 6, 3 by 4, one third, 2 and a quarter plus half, 2, 3 by 4. 15, 
15 squared to 16 16 to 17 is across back that is 6 point 2 5 or 6 and a quarter mark 6 3 by 8 including ease then draw the armhole from 10 17 and 11. Now draw the front armhole from 10, 17 and 11 and join the side seam, little inward curve from 11 to 12 and the outward curve from 12 to 13. and extend the line from 13 to 14. Now we are going to draw the dots. At the front we have waistline dot and the armhole dot to get a proper fit. We already marked the bust level. Now we have to mark the bust point with the reference of bust span measurement. Bust span is 7.5 inches then 3 to bus point is off bus span plus quarter it is 4 inches and this point is the bus point. Now the bus point is squared towards down And mark yeah mark one inch below the bus point eighteen and this point is square to nineteen twenty. Nineteen to twenty is four and a half an inch. And the dot intake is one and a half an inch should be marked three fourth and three fourth on both sides and mark 21, 22. Now draw the dots from 18. 18 to 22, 22 to 20, then 18 to 21 and 21 to 20 and then blend the dots. Now we are going to draw the armhole dot. Armhole dot can start from the intersection form point of the armhole and the armhole straight line. It should face the bus point. Twenty twenty two is the point where the curve and the straight line is intersecting and take a line from 22 to bus point and then mark 23 is one and a half an inch 
away from the bus point. Mark one and a half an inch away from bus point. This is 23. And the dot intake is half an inch. Mark quarter quarter inch on both, half half an inch on both side. It's dot intake is one, one inch. Mark half half an inch on both the side. That is 24 and 25 and take a dot from 24, 23 and 25, 23. This armhole dot has to be trued and draw the armhole curve again. Now join and extend the side seam from hip line to bottom line. Now we are going to make the sleeve block for the commis as a long sleeve. This sleeve will have a little bit of a loose in the bicep and we can derive any length of the sleeve by using this block. See we need two measurements, one is the armhole and other one is the length. The length is 24 inch. and draw a perpendicular line and mark 24 inches this is the center of the sleeve After drawing the basic line, must mark 0 for the center line top and the length as 1 and draw a perpendicular line as a bottom line. Now. 0 2 is the crown depth is armhole by 4. We must find the armhole measurement by measuring the back armhole and the front armhole by leaving the dot elements. That comes around 16 inches for this body's block and 0 2 2 is 1 fourth of armhole. 4 inches and draw perpendicular line as bicep line. Zero 03 is off harm hole is 8 inches. Join zero three. Z one four is of arm round. The arm round is measured as eight inch. And mark off arm arm round as 4 inch and join the side seam from 3 to 4.
Now divide this armhole into 4 equal division 2, 4, 6 will give 4 equal division and mark 5, 6, 7. Five eight is five by eight inches and nine is three by eight inches and seven seven ten is half an inch. Five eleven is three eighth of an inch. Mark all the points. First, draw the back armhole from zero eight nine. This three point should match first, and connect the curve. From zero eight nine. Then turn the armhole and match the point of 9, 7 and 3 for the back armhole curve. Then draw the front armhole matching 0, 6, Turn the French curve and match 6, 10 and 3 to draw the front armhole curve. This curve is meant for the back shape and this curve is meant for the front. With the use of this pattern, we can develop any kind of a sleeve which can fit for the kamis. The kamis block should also be cut. Start from the bottom and cut on the center front line as a straight line and how to come along to the center front neck. And the side seam should also be cut from the bottom to the top. Then cut the shoulder line. And the neckline. Now, the waistline dart has been true and the side seam should also be true. Here the armhole dart has to be true. We already blend the dart length and then the side seam also. Now, we are going to true the armhole dart. First, we need to crease the dot leg one towards the bottom facing bottom and the midline allow little extra and cut 
the armhole. Now we should fold the dart by matching the legs and then stapler it. Then draw the armhole Now the armhole is seam line is corrected with the new curve and remove the stapler. And you can start cutting on the armhole and then remove the stapler. Now we can see that the extension is happen at the armhole. So when you are doing this, the bust cup is been forming. When you are doing both the darts together, the proper bust cup will form at the bust point. Now our basic block of the kamis is ready, front is ready. We are cutting the kamis back, start from the bottom and cut on the center back line, bottom line and side seam line. The same thing to be continued till the shoulder also, but we did not have any dart on the outline of the pattern. So it is not necessary to true the darts. So we are going to continue the cutting at the outline of pattern. All the outline is going to be cut. Center back line. Then the neckline, then shoulder line, then armhole line, side seam line. Now the back pattern is ready. Mark the notches of all the basic lines like hip line, waist line, across back line. The back Kami's pattern is also ready with the notches and the outline cut. You must mark the grain line and mark the center back line and write the center back also. Stop. Now we are going to cut the sleeve. First make a fold on the center line from 0 to 1, make the fold 
and keep it flat. Then start cutting the side seam line. And then mark quarter inch down from here, give a curve for truing the wrist line and cut on the line. Now cut on the highest shape of the crown. Then open the pattern, we can see the symmetric shape on the other side also. This curve is meant for the back. Now one side will be back and other side will be front. We should cut on the one side with the front shape. Now the sleeve pattern is ready, we should do notches at the center line then make a fold and do the notch at the mid of the armhole. And this is the sleeve pattern. We can also draw the elbow line and make the notch. So we have done the back and the front and the center notch has been creased. And we can do an another notch at the crown by 3 8 of an inch away from the center towards the back. And this is the notch to attach along with the armhole. But when we are attaching the sleeve, the second notch can fit into the shoulder, then the perfect fit will be there. Now we are going to trace the kameez block. We have to place the back and the front by following the warp grain. Back can be put on the fold and it should allow the allowances at the side seam and center. Now I am going to trace with the tracing wheel. The stitching line of the block has been traced. and trace the dot also. A 
as the same we need to trace the front by marking all the dot points, bust point and armhole dot and waistline dot. After finishing the cutting of front and back kamis, we should start stitching or pinning the dots, armhole dot and the full dot at waistline for the front separately and for the back. Back has only the full dot at the center back. Close the dot by pinning. Then attach the shoulder of the front and back by matching the neck point and the arm, shoulder tip point. Then pin the side seam along with the side till the hip notch. So we pinned the center front also by folding the excess inside by one inch. So it is sufficient to take the test fit for center front from center front to from center front to center back. This is the test fit of the kamis, the basic kamis. We should fit the kamis test fit matching on the center front line, center back line and the shoulder line. All the notches of waistline, hip line and bust line should match along with the levels. The neck must be pinned half an inch or 3 eighth of an inch below from the neck point, actual neck point and the bust point should match with the bust point. We can check the fit, the fit should be very smooth, clean, neat and straight. The side seam can go along with the body curve without any bowing or pulling. And the bust room should be sufficient for the bust and the across front must have little ease but not more. One eighth of ease at the across front is sufficient and the waist should have the ease and the chest should have ease around one and a quarter inch. And the hip measure on the hip level it should have one inch ease for the both back and front for one side and the bottom level should be parallel to the floor both at the front as well as at the back. Back also has the dart and it's it's exactly fits at the cross back and the basic neck. And the center far, back is matching along with the center back and the dot is being done to give the body curve at the waistline but the comfortability is very smooth and the fit is very clean. And it provides exact straight fit and the bottom line of the kamis is also parallel to the floor. The neckline has to be traced on the exact neckline which already match on the exact neck. Otherwise also you can true the neckline as per the fit required. And the armhole which the front armhole is exactly fits but the back armhole need to be little bit a deeper curve. So true the back armhole by little bit deepening from the previous curve. Then the look of the front and the back should be very clean, close, with the ease and with a straight fit.